What is going on guys? Joey Suggs here. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to a very early morning and welcome to a new little mini series, a winter cut. Mm. Start my morning out with a little caffeine. Definitely need it. The C4 is hitting the spot. Now I know like most of us, uh, the holiday season is normally a time where we relax, we spend a little more time with friends and family, spend a little more time eating whatever we want, or at least that's the way I typically do it. And I have quickly noticed I'm gaining a little too much weight than I'd like. So the plan is a little mini cut to help offset these calories that we're taking in. And I still plan on doing all the holiday fun things, the parties, the get togethers, the going out, the friends, the dinners, all that kind of stuff. But to help offset that a little bit, we're gonna be doing a winter cut very very simple and this will be a nice little follow along if you guys are in the same boat and you want to do the same type of thing so today is december 6th i've been on the cut for a couple days now i'm starting to get my routine with what i'm eating and stuff down but i haven't done any tracking and i probably won't track for the most of this but it'll be interesting today to see as i track how we land with calories and macros and everything in between so you kick back relax press the thumbs up button i'm gonna head to work and let's get this winter cut started. The clock is literally striking uh, 12 p.m., so like noon, and I'm finally having my very first meal. It is this right here, some boiled eggs that I took like 90 slash 85% of the yolks out, and I'm gonna eat it with a childhood favorite of mine, some string cheese, some light string cheese at that. But gotta use a little bit of mustard over top the eggs. Super simple, just salt, pepper, and a little bit of mustard, all zero calorie items, all over boiled eggs. Um, it's like it's just a really good, quick protein source for like a breakfast food, even though it is noon right now. Mm. And I take all the yolk out, partially because of the calories, but I'm also just not a big fan of the yolks, as weird as that may sound. So this is my first meal at about noon. Typically it's around noon, sometimes like 11 o'clock. Still sipping on the C4 as well. Takes me normally about a half a day to drink one of these, which is like perfect for me. And we got the childhood favorite classic, the string cheese. Oh. I feel like this definitely might be like a kind of weird snack or first meal, but it's just super efficient and you can take it on the go. Um, and it's super high protein too. We're pretty low calories. When I put everything in, I think we're sitting like a little over 200 calories, but right at like 30 grams of protein. So for a first meal, like first thing in my body, it's nice, it's light, I can still like focus, I'm not like bogged down with a bunch of carbs, and all around a good first meal. So it is a lunch break right now, so I might walk on the treadmill for a little bit, maybe get some editing done. But for a first meal, a uh, couple eggs and some cheese sticks kind of did the trick. All right, the time is like, almost 4 p.m. Been working in a bunch of meetings and exactly why I'm making this video. We had someone come in for like a little Christmas get together. They brought us some food. They bought us some treats. They wanted to hang out and talk, chill. And so that's part of the reason why I'm doing this cut. I know this stuff is happening and I want to be able to take part in it. Um, and that's exactly what I did. So yes, I did have uh, a really good like plate of barbecue um they brought in like uh god they had like ribs pulled pork mac and cheese potato salad coleslaw like all this different stuff i didn't have a lot of everything but i did have like a little bit of a couple of the things um and i tracked it as best as possible but you're never going to be very accurate when you're doing stuff like that and then i had a couple of like the little sweets that they left um, as well, just to like hang out with everyone and, and be in that like office environment. And I don't think anything's wrong with that as long as you're doing the things of the winter cut to offset that. So like I said, I tracked it loosely and it added quite a bit of calories to the day, almost a thousand, um, with not that much protein, a little bit, I guess, in the meat, but we're not sitting the prettiest, I would say. But I might as well show you what I was planning on having before I knew they were coming, and that was this like clean eats meal. So it looks like a pretty solid meal, so kind of upset I didn't get to have this, but I'll just have it tomorrow for lunch. Nice little serving of chicken, broccoli, and mashed potatoes. With some, this has really good macros too. 40 grams of protein is for 300 calories, and instead we got like 
60 grams of protein in like a thousand calories. Definitely not ideal, and I didn't know this was gonna happen today, but I'm actually happy I'm filming, at least I'm um, being honest and showing you guys what's realistically gonna probably happen when you're trying to do your winter cut. As long as you stay on track over the long term, you're gonna be just fine over time. We're not getting stage ready lean. The point of this, at least for me, is just to offset some of the weight that I typically would gain during the holiday season. So it's almost four o'clock. I only have like an hour left at work, uh, but my meal two and three, little unexpected, but we make room for it. So typically the next scene would be me uh, in my car at the gym, but I decided to come home first. Look at that, oh, like a warm welcome. Um, I'm gonna get some stuff done here and then go to the gym just a little bit later, but very, very long, stressful day at work. So it's nice to come home to things that adore you. Chores are now done, or at least partially done. Finally go to the gym. It's about 6.30, a little after. So hopefully it'll be a little less packed in there. I'll be able to film a little easier the workout. But even though it's kind of late, I think I'm still going to go with the bulk black from Transparent Labs and just probably stay up until midnight. So just one big old scoop of that. And today's going to be primarily a back day. And just a touch on how I kind of want the gym process to go over Road to Ripped. Um, I'm going to be going to the gym as much as possible, probably at least minimum five days a week. Uh, obviously, if things come up, I can't go. I'm not going to like beat myself up over it, but I am going to do everything in my power to either wake up early and go to the gym or even work out during lunch if I have to, to still hit that five times a week minimum. And with that, we are going to have to hit a little cardio as well. I typically do about 15 minutes of cardio after my workouts anyways. I'm going to bump that up to like 15 to 20 five days a week and go from there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem at all, but let's go crush a little back and by day. Actually just back because my bicep kind of hurts. All right, quick little warm up walking in the treadmill in about 20 minutes or so. First exercise is going to be one part warm up, next part actual working exercise. So it's going to be a high to low cable row, single arm, one arm at a time. Um, the warm up sets I just did like 10 to 12 reps for two. Then we do three hard working sets at about almost like to failure weight uh, for eight to 10 reps. All right, so I actually ended up doing a four set to that. Felt really, really good. Nice, like on the underneath like long part of my lat. Felt amazing, so I did four working sets of that. Now we're gonna do something a little different something I don't typically do. Uh, we're gonna do like a landmine T-bar row, close grip T-bar row. Uh, I just did two warm up sets. Feels amazing for like the mid back. Um, I'm, I'm already feeling it pretty well, so we're gonna up the weight just a little bit and do three hard working sets of that. Those feel incredible for the mid back. Pop the pump cover pull over off onto a nice little TLF tie-dye cosmic tank. Definitely check it out in the link down below. But two more sets of this to wrap up. All right, back is feeling really, really good. Uh, we're gonna move into another single arm movement. It's gonna be a hammer strength machine, I guess, lat pull down. Um, but it's really good for single arms and I feel it pretty well in the lats. Um, so I'm probably gonna do three sets here. I actually did four sets of the last one as well. Uh, but we'll do three sets here, about eight reps. I'm going pretty heavy weight. Um, Shout out Alex for the videotography on that last clip. Um, but we're gonna wrap things up. Seated cable row, close grip, narrow grip, whatever this grip is called. Three sets, 10 to 12, and we'll finish out back day with a little bit of Stairmaster after that. And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, back home. Honestly, pretty freaking good workout. A uh, little over an hour 30, sorry, the white balance is kind of off. A uh, thousand active calories burn. Said this point in time means nothing, but it is a good metric if you were an Apple Watch every day. Um, but I definitely need some protein. Um, so let's do that. We'll do milk and then let's do a scoop and a half of the Transparent Labs dark chocolate. Mm. All right, so as I sip on this delicious protein chocolate milk, mm. Very, very good. Let me just say this. One, uh, cardio goes by so much faster when I'm able to like respond to comments on the YouTube videos. So if you have anything that you wanna see on the cut series or if you just wanna say something funny in the comments, I'll be looking at it and responding to it down below. And something that I wanna be doing in this series is uh, some physique updates. Oh man, I can't believe I'm gonna show this, but 
I'm going to put up a video I took a couple of days ago. Um, man, I mean, I'm, I'm weighing a little over 220 pounds, which is like the heaviest I've been in probably five or six, maybe almost seven years. That's not good. Obviously, I have some more muscle on my body than I did that time ago, but I mean, I, I don't feel super like healthy. I don't feel super athletic. I don't feel super like lean and cut and I don't, I don't feel good. I don't feel strong. And it has nothing to do like, like mental health wise. I'm doing great. It's just like the physical health. I feel like I need to feel better and look better. Um, and I, so I just need, I need to lose some weight. So, um, I'm going to be a little vulnerable and put up some very not great, uh, <laughs> physique update, but I am going to be showing myself hopefully getting leaner over the next couple weeks. Um, and so we can document that together. So with this protein shake in, I also had a granola bar that I didn't show uh, early in the video before I went to the gym. So I put that in there as well. 400 calories for this and that. Uh, brought the total up to 1600 for the day, which actually is not bad considering we had such a huge lunch with like a lot of fat in it. Um, and we have 151 grams of protein. So we're actually doing pretty well there. Workout was really good. Burning that amount of calories, I, I feel like that helped. Or at least maybe eating the more calories in the day felt like I was able to have a really good workout because of it. Whatever the reasoning was, good workout. I need to get dinner started, but just wanted to share that little physique update with you. And I'm confident at the end of this mini series, we'll take another little physique update and um, we'll be looking much, much better. I'm gonna smash this and it's on to dinner time. And for dinner, I'm thinking like surf and turf vibes without the surf and go um, some steaks. I have some fillets that I defrosted from Costco and uh, some chicken. So what would that be like? Grass and turf. But I'm gonna make both of them tonight. Um, let's start with the chicken. All right, I got an air fryer preheating and I'm gonna go ahead and season these up with some Kinder's wood fire garlic and some Lowry's lemon pepper. Don't know if this combo is gonna be good or not, but it's worth a try, I guess. All right, and these just barely fit in here. Put it on the air fryer and we'll do, let's do 375 for 12 minutes and that should be pretty good. And for the steaks, we're gonna do the Kinder's, the blend seasoning as always. We'll get a good coat on both sides and then this is ready to go in the pan. And the steaks can go in. I'm gonna cook them about to medium rare. All right, steaks are finished up. I actually added an extra two minutes on the chicken. And for my carb source, I'm gonna be pretty lazy and just go with some Uncle Ben's rice and some mixed veg from Costco. All right, people, dinner is served. Actually, that's not even a good view. Look at this view right here, the overhead shot. I don't know, that looks pretty, pretty nice. We got the rice in there, um, the mixed veg. I just put a little salt and pepper over that. Nice piece of steak, nice piece of chicken, and uh, everything it was cooked perfectly. Definitely recommend 15 minutes for the chicken, um, but everything else was awesome. Um, I will say I had one of those small pieces of steak, and it was freaking delicious. Costco fillets are always really good. And of course, this is gonna be no exception. So like tender, buttery, um, no fat content, it's really awesome. The chicken cooked up very nicely, surprisingly. Normally I do like chunks chicken. Didn't feel like cutting it, just wanna cook the whole breast. Ended up being pretty well. That is perfect. And then some microwave mixed veg and bagged rice. Tastes exactly how you would expect it to. And what's nice, check out how much extra like meat I have to carry me on throughout the rest of the next couple of days. Um, I used about a half of the bag of the rice, so I still have that left over too. Um, so I did a nice little like halfway meal prep to get me set up for the next couple of days. That is awesome. Um, just a brief look at the calories and macros in, in this meal turned out even better than I could have imagined. Uh, the meal is sitting weirdly enough exactly at 620 calories. Total right around 2200 for the day. That's actually really good considering what we had for lunch today. And even crazier than that, you look at the macros, we did hit our protein goal, which is really awesome. Over 200 grams of protein, that's the goal. Um, under 25 or right around 2,500 calories, that's the calorie goal. And like I said, with that, a really good lift and about 15 to 20 minutes of Stairmaster. 
that's pretty much, I'm not gonna change it up a whole lot throughout the uh, mini cut or the winter cut. I don't wanna overcomplicate things, I just wanna keep it very simple and I think my body will react to it. And that's the goal, I'm gonna kill this tasty little dinner and we still got a couple more calories to kill tonight. Oh, all right, it is very late. It's actually almost 11 p.m. Um, quick little shower change. I'm gonna wrap up today's video with a little dessert and that is um, some dried mango. If you haven't had dried mango before, I'm becoming maybe slightly addicted to it. Um, the macros are honestly not that good. Like they're pretty high in like carbs and calories, but it is very tasty and it's like a nice little sweet treat, a little off the beaten path. Um, so I'm gonna finish out my night with a couple of these. So it'll probably put us somewhere around 2,400 calories for the day, which is really good considering I had that like really big lunch and the sweets and everything along with it. But that's the nice thing about this little mini cut is it all works out in the long run. So if you guys enjoyed this little mini cut, press the thumbs up button for me. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see uh, in this series going forward. And with that, I will see you guys very shortly in the next one. Peace. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up